Well, everyone, another week has gone by, so we are now on iPadOS 26 Developer Beta 7, with only a few more iterations of this beta update coming out before we get the final release, so stay tuned for the end of the video to talk about timing and timeline and when to expect the final public release of iPadOS 26 for you guys to fully install it on all your devices. But let's see what kind of bugs Apple was able to fix, if they were able to improve any performance, and most importantly, improve battery life, because that's kind of what took a hit with Beta 6 for me overall. Without further ado, let's talk about iPadOS 26 Beta 7. Let's get into it. Now, if you do enjoy videos like this one, where we keep you up to date on all things Apple, including all the developer betas that have been releasing on a weekly basis, definitely consider subscribing to the channel because it helps motivate us to continue to make these videos. But now, let's talk about the first thing, which will be the build number and the build size so you know exactly how big these are. Well, alright everyone, let's get started with this video, and you can see here that I am on iPadOS 26 Beta 7, and we have about 1.48 gigs in terms of the size of this build, right? And I'm using an M4 iPad Pro, we're on the developer beta version, it's all going to be different depending on which iPad you have and which version you're coming from, but for this instance, give yourself at least 3 gigabytes of open storage to get this installed and installed correctly. And then in terms of the build number, we are getting much, much closer to the final build number because we are about a few weeks away here to finally get the public release out to everybody. So if we go into our general, go into our about, go into our iPadOS version, we're on iPadOS 26.0. But 23A5326 lowercase a. That means we'll be getting the RC edition more than likely next week. And then the final release should be the week of September 8th or September 9th for us to get this fully out to the public. And I'm just very excited for people to get their hands on this thing sooner rather than later because it's been a lot of fun. But overall, let's actually start off with the battery life first because battery life was actually kind of annoying this time around with beta 6. It was the only thing that was kind of not up to par compared to the rest of the betas, but let's go into our view all battery usage. Let's go on a day like Tuesday. We got five hours and nine minutes of screen on time with about 87% battery, meaning we probably squeeze out six hours on a day like this one. Maybe on a day like Tuesday, four hours and 42 minutes with 76%. Again, I'm pushing the iPad to the extremes here, editing in 4K, creating thumbnails and affinity photo. I constantly am using it as a monitoring system or a viewfinder for my camera. So I'm pushing this and I'm not just web browsing and I'm not just watching YouTube videos. So four hours and 42 minutes at 75% means I'll get probably six hours of battery life, six and 15 minutes of battery life. So do keep that in mind. If I was just web browsing, I could probably get closer to that eight, nine, 10, but just want to show off some anecdotal evidence that here we have two thirds of my battery taken up with only three hours of screen on time, meaning I'm probably only gonna get max five hours on a day like Monday. But we'll see how it goes with Beta 7 as we go throughout the week, so definitely stay tuned and subscribed to see how it ends up playing out. But now in terms of what's new, there are a couple things that are new in terms of just visual changes. So first and foremost, you can see that the dock is down here, but take a notice here when I go into the wiggle mode. So if I go here, long press, go into wiggle mode, you can see that the dock is actually getting smaller. The only reason this is getting smaller and what I've noticed is that it's getting smaller when there are open spots in the dock. I don't know exactly how many you can fit in here, but if we go down here, let's add a couple more. I believe you can add up to 15. Let's keep going here. But as you can see, you can add an abundance of different applications. And what I've done here is I've gotten rid of the app library as, as well as the most recent applications just to be able to fit more. But you can see that if I long press again, the dock gets a tiny bit smaller to be able to fit more and more app icons down there. But again, I'm a little surprised how many can fit down here. I don't really, I thought there was only a limit of about 15. But I bet since iPad OS 26 came out, the limit has been way, way higher. And you can see how small these apps are getting. I mean, if I go all these applications, there's easily 20. Okay, so there is the final limit. And if we count here, we have 27. So we have 29 individual applications down here, which is something that I didn't know was possible. But again, if I long press, you can see that it does get a little bit smaller. I'll show you guys from over here to get a better view. Long press. The dock gets a little bit smaller in order to actually understand what's going on. But that is the one visual update that we saw. Another one is if we go into our control center here, same way we long press here to edit it, you can see that the applications themselves or the control center icons, they have this pulsating white light that's happening to indicate that we are in that wiggle mode. Another little glitch that's happening here is you can see that there are some like phantom spots, which again, they're either on the bottom here or behind it. Let me know in the comment down below if you guys are seeing those. But you can see that they are pulsating. I believe this might have been a beta 6 update, but some people have said that it's new. Some people have said that they've had it for at least one beta, but something to take into account there. And it takes up the entire kind of area that that control center icon is taking up. You can see that there are so those phantom ones again, but again, we're still in the final edges of beta and I'm sure Apple's gonna tidy this up as we go along. 
There's also a new update that's again mostly for iOS 26, but if we go back into our battery, there's actually a new notification setting for battery usage. So if you do go into your battery health on your iPhone, you have your adaptive battery percentage that shows up. You can actually get a notification to understand when you go into adaptive battery mode and adaptive charging mode and why that's happening. I know people had a lot of questions as to what kind of indicates going into that adaptive mode, but that is now but that is now a notification that comes in with your iOS device. Again, not on iPadOS, but it's there on iOS, which will eventually trickle down into iPadOS. And then another thing I like to show off is just the new, again, liquid glass design, but the translucentness of it all. So if we go into edit, go into our customize, go into clear, you can see that Apple's been going kind of back and forth in the amount of clear that you can get. Again, we're still in the beta program, so it kind of goes as it should. But I think from a translucent standpoint, it's kind of at the best situation right now. Again, we have the transparency mode that's working really well. You have all these different applications that are kind of morphing the way that they should be, even though they aren't first party applications. And when it comes to the amount of visualization you get, so for instance, if I go into the music application, and then when you go down here and look at it, you can see that there's a little less translucentness or again, a little bit more opaque. You can see that you can still see behind it as I scroll through, but again, it's not nearly as kind of clear as it used to be. So that is something to take into account. You also have the search bar, which actually got much bigger, which is nice to see. You have the toggle on the top right-hand corner, and then you're also able to kind of view everything like this. So I still think the liquid glassiness should be a meter or a kind of leveler to decide how liquid glassy you wanted, depending on who you are and kind of your tolerance to the readability of it all. That would be kind of a nice little customization feature on the home screen, but overall, that is what it looks like right now. But that's all we got from an overall update version of Beta 7. Things are still getting snappier in my opinion, so things are opening very fast. So if I pull this up, you can see how quickly everything opens, everything's opening how it should be. You also, I'll press this right here. You have the ability to, again, open as many apps as you want. Everything else has kind of remained the same, and I'm just excited to see when people get this in their hands and they'll be able to test it out. But let's finish up this video, everybody, and move on to the next one. That was just about do for this video, everybody. As you saw, nothing big time is changing here with Beta 7. This is mostly just going to be performance updates, making sure that the bugs are getting squashed on a timely basis to, again, make sure that it's ready to go for the final release come September 9th, I believe. That is when we should be getting it between September 9th and September 15th, when Apple has their iPhone event. We'll be getting iOS 26, iPad OS 26, Mac OS 26 and all the other corresponding updates to all the different pieces of hardware. And I'm just excited for more and more people to try iPad OS 26 because it's the first time since we got iPad OS 13 that Apple's really paid attention to what iPad users want and what iPads you can actually do, whether you do have a fully loaded iPad Pro or just an entry level iPad A16. Because again, the experience is pretty much 98% there on the cheaper model versus the most expensive. But That'll do for this video. Let me know in the comment down below if you've updated to any of these developer betas. Are you going to wait for the public beta to come out, which should be on the same day, because this is actually the same time that Apple starts releasing them simultaneously. But I am curious to know if you guys are updating to these betas, or if you're just going to wait a couple more weeks to get the public release on your main device. But that'll do for this video. If you made it to the end, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below so I know you made it to the end. And leave your favorite iPadOS 26 feature that you've seen so far, and maybe even leave a joke in the comments down below, and I'll pin the best one. But that'll do it, everybody. I'm Fernando. Peace.